Hi, and welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you a very helpful tool in Photoshop um, that you can use to get rid of uh, blemishes or uh, scars, or I've even used it to get rid of like crumbs in pictures or just general touching up of pictures. And here I have a picture that is it's pretty bad. The acne on the face is pretty bad, and we're going to use this tool to make this skin very clear. So what you need to do is come over here and it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven down on your little uh, tool table here. And what we're looking for is the healing brush. You'll see the spot healing brush and the patch tool. Um, you can also use those to clear up uh, blemishes and stuff, but we're gonna be using uh, the healing brush tool today. So what you're gonna do is click on that and then you can set your brush uh, size. So I'm just gonna put it about 50. It's probably uh, pretty good. And what you're going to want to do next is find a part of your image that is clear. So like right here in the middle of this image, I'm seeing some pretty clear skin. So what we're going to do is hold alt and then just click and you'll see it turns into a little bullseye and that's how you know where you're going to pick. So just click. Now the size of your brush is the size that you're going to be painting from that area. So if my brush was this big, then I was going to, I'm going to be taking that size and putting it elsewhere but I don't want it that big because then you start to see like the circles when you start uh, spotting in other places um, so basically what we're gonna do now that we have uh, our area is just start clicking um, on what you want to remove so I'm just gonna start up here I'm just gonna click and as you can see it's removing it and it's, re uh, it's replacing these spots with the color down here so you can see that I'm just clicking here and it's smoothing it out and you can actually paint with it once you get some uh, some good uh, cleared spots so just a lot of clicking and a lot of uh, smoothing it out just to make it look uh, look good and you can actually even use it to take and remove some of these hairs down here if you want now these over here are going to be a little bit more tricky because they're in the hair but generally, basically what you need to do is just get a smaller brush. I'm not really going to show you how to do that. You just get a smaller brush. You might even want to get uh, sample a piece of the hair and then uh, place that over the top of it. And it'll, it'll resample the whole thing. So you can see I'm just I'm smoothing out her skin here. Or you can see all of the pores. I'm just smoothing it out. Just a lot. A lot of different clicks here. And... As you can see, her smooth or her skin is becoming much smoother. And what you can do later is just come and do some cross, just to kind of smooth it out so it doesn't look like it's sampled off from one spot. And you can even mess with like the hue and saturation to try and get her skin to be a little less red. But the spot that I picked was a little more red, so there's just going to be some. But as you can see, that's a big improvement from before. And now when you want to get down into this, this lighter skin down on the bottom of her face, you just click Alt and then sample another part and you can just start sampling some more uh, on the lighter skin down at the bottom of her face. And there you go. You can see it's coming along pretty nicely. So I think you guys get the picture here. I'm just going to do a little bit more. And you can kind of blend this top part in with the other part here. And, I mean, you can see that there's a big improvement from before. And you can actually really see that. I'm just going to remove some of this hair here. You can see she's got some down by her chin here, too. So you can, you can use this to remove pretty much anything. And I'm just going to show you the uh, improvement here in a second. I'm just going to grab the... Um, the history brush, or not the history brush, but the history palette right here. As you can see, we've got a crap load of uh, healing brush uh, spots here. But if I click here, you can see the original. And that's pretty bad. Like, And then once we go down here to what we've revised, it's a little bit smaller because I had uh, resized it after I made this snapshot. Um, but you can see that it's a ton clearer and that her face is looking much better. So with the healing brush, you can just do a ton of stuff and really improve your images. Um, so it's all about selecting the right spot and then just filling the rest in. 
Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I will see you next week. Thanks.